Hi everyone, I am Dr. Yasmin. I am the chief mentor of the BTMAS UG and we are talking about today about the introduction of the MAS UG part 1 because I am getting too much queries how to book exam, how to do eligibility and what to read and what to do in this exam and what is a basic MAS UG. Everyone is asking me. So that's why I'm making again. There's a few other videos are available on BDMRCOG YouTube channel. You can see there also. So first of all, what is MRCOG? MRCOG is the Royal College Obstetric Exam, RCOG exam. That is a membership of Royal College of Obstetric and Gynecology. It's a global exam. So the RCOG is a truly international important thing is there. 16,000 fellow and members are worldwide is there. It's more than that. And 50% are practicing outside UK. So it's not necessary that you will do this exam and you go to the UK, work there only. Because we can work in our country also. Because it gives a good recognition to as a obstetrician and gynecologist and it will give you a overall improvement in your clinical diagnosis and treatment of the patient. How we will proceed to a patient in the structured manner. Now parts of exam. Everyone is asking me how many parts are there. There's a three parts of the exam is there. Part 1, part 2 and part 3. Part 1 and part 2 you does not require this part 1 and part 2, we does not require any experience in OBGY. You can pass it without any that. But for part 3, you require 4 year clinical experience. Now people are asking me, we have to do the post graduation DGO? No. You can work under any gynecologist which are practicing uh, gyne and ops together. Then you can do uh, registrarship or the JR chip under them for four years, it's enough to apply for the exam because we need the four year experience in this exam. Part one, it is a written and basic exam. It is online exam. Part one, part two, both are online exam. Okay. So in part one, they are giving you 100 SBA. What is SBA? SBA is a single best answer. Uh, I will give you the example also because in this what they will give you there is a five option normally in our country we have four options but it is five option and two and three are nearby so you can confuse in that that is right that is right so we have to choose be best one single best answer is a SBA so we have to choose best one that is important there is no negative marking one, there is two paper two and a half hour for each and one hour break in between is there. Now part two MRCOG. Part two is also written exam, but this is the assessment of the application of the knowledge. What is this? That is a guidelines you have to read. The, uh, they have UK guidelines. That is a nice guideline, green top guidelines, BASH guideline, FSRH guideline. Too many guidelines are there. We have to read that and apply our knowledge for the scenario they have given you. Here, there's a 50-50 questions are come. 50 is SBA and 50 is EMQ. SBA is the same as in part one. 50 EMQ, that is an extended matching question. So that you are getting 20 or 30 option for that. And you have to choose from that. They are providing you three hours for the 100 question. Time is limited. So that's why this exam is a bit difficult passing rate is low also. Say, and there's a two paper again, three hour each and one hour break in between. Now part three MRCOG, it is a clinical exam. If you have done, anybody have done DNB exam like OSCE exam it have, but it is at the 14 station and you have to run in between the station. Nowadays, no online exam for this. It is a, again, it is the same as a face-to-face -face exam. We will discuss about part 3 later on. Now these are the all basic structure of the speciality training that is ST and the education program in RCOG. That is FY1, FY2 foundation training after internship that is for the UK person. ST1, ST2 basic training 
then pass the part 1 MRCOG, then they will promote you on ST3, otherwise not. ST3, ST4, ST5, then pass the MRCOG part 2 and part 3 during this period only, okay? Then they will promote you as a ST6, okay? Now, important thing is there, we are IMGs, we are living outside the UK, we are doing this exam. When you pass your OET, OET is an English exam, language exam, we have to pass an occupational English task. So, that we will, or IELTS, you can pass any of this. Then you pass this and then afterwards you will go UK, you will get the job and if for six months we have to do the job because we have to well verse with their system. Afterwards they will take you on the ST3 level, not on ST5. Here if they are working in UK, training in UK, then you are eligible for ST6. But after uh, doing from outside UK, we are eligible for ST3 level. Now, there's no need to give the any exam, but day to day assessments are there that you have to pass only. This is an overall structure we have already discussed. Now, MRCOG. First, what step do we do? That is a new person, then make an account on RCOG. Okay, just go on RCOG website, type over the Google and just make an account and log in your account. You will get everything there. If you have made the account before, don't make another account now. Because it's important that is a single account is needed and this account is for whole life for you. Whatever the number they have given you, that is your membership number when you, whenever you complete your MRCOG part 3. Now, first of all, Making account, second step, eligibility test. Now, what is this criteria? That we have to send either our MBBS degree or we are doing, that is our certificate. That is, a, what is this? Medical license. You can send to the uh, online only. Okay, so that is important. First time candidate must have eligibility approved. Apply for part one exam is the second stage process. You cannot book the exam directly. Important one. Eligibility and booking, you must first have your eligibility application process and approve before you can make a booking application online. So important is, for this you need a attach your medical degree or registration certificate. This can be a scan or photo of your original primary medical degree certificate. Don't send original, it is only copy or photo. A scan or photo of your medical registration certificate provided it is state your primary medical degree and university. Remember this. And if you are TMC registered, you do not need to send us your medical degree certificate. So if you are GMC registered, no need. If you are not, then we have to send a copy of either our degree or license. What we are practicing. Now, how much time will, because people, what they will do, they will send and they will ask again and again, ma'am, when they will do, when they will do, because RCG is not going to answer your any email. You have submitted, your time is finished, your job is finished, wait for at least for four weeks. Okay, so please allow up to the four weeks for part one eligibility application to be processed. After four weeks, if you are medical school or medical college is WHO approved, you are de definitely going to get your eligibility approved. So don't worry for that. Exam date and important deadline. It's very important because Tuesday, 2nd July 2024 is the July exam. It's a part one. Okay. Now part one eligibility deadline. Eligibility deadline is 15 March 2024. So try to sign today only or tomorrow. Send it fast so you will get the your eligibility approved in the four week time. Expression of interest closes Friday 29th March 2024. Now this is a new thing from the last two years that what they are doing you have to do your eligibility. Now write down uh, sorry fill the expression of interest that you are um, agree for the part one exam. Now you are willing to fill the part one exam. Then they will send you a token in your mail. Booking window application open on Tuesday, 23rd April 2024. So 23rd April 2024, you will get the token in your uh, account, that is RCOG account, email, and then you will deposit the fee 
Booking window closes on Thursday, 30th May 2024. And result release also given, that is the 31st July. Now, exam fee. Exam fee is increasing day by day. It is according to your band, which country, uh, your country is coming in which band, A, B and C. Like India is coming in band B, Pakistan, Bangladesh, everyone is band B. So that is 555 GBP. That is a, a pounds. It is so, it is British pound and it will come around your 55,000 or 60,000, 55 to 56,000 Indian rupees. So remember, nowadays exam is expensive. Prepare well and give it on time and pass it in one attempt. Now, what is syllabus for part one? In this exam, normally that is anatomy, physio, part one uh, is having the basic, okay? So that is a anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, genetics, statistics, pathology, physiology, pharmacology, microbiology, clinical, as well as a data interpretation. So that will come in SIP 6. It is from the 2019. They have made the capability in practice 6. So that is a smart doctor they want. And this is the capability of SIP 6. That is a, all this portion. They are checking your knowledge. So we have to prepare it well. Now frequently asked questions are there. That's two questions everyone asking. How many attempts we have? So six attempt you have if you want to register in UK speciality register. If you don't want, if you don't want your name in speciality register, you can attempt as many times as one. And in special circumstances, you can get the your HOD letter for recommendation to give seven times, but it is not needed in part one. Okay, is there is a time limit between passing part one MRCUG and passing part two MRCUG? No. Part 1 and MRCUG, if you passed, then you have to attempt the part 2 at least in 7 years. That is very important. If you will not attempt part 2 in 7 years, then you have to give the exam again. So that is the important thing. Is there. If you have attempted, there is no need. Uh, don't be worried. Prepare well and give the exam. Now, this is the division of the marks according to subject. We already discussed paper 1, anatomy, biochemistry, embryo, and endocrinology, epidemiology, genetics, and physiology. Part 2, paper, sorry, paper 2, it is biophysics, clinical management, data interpretation, immunology, microbiology, pathology, and pharmacology. Now, these are the SPA. I have given you three examples only, so we are going to discuss three only. That is a specimen of SBA question and answer. A 24-year-old present at the 27th week into her second pregnancy feeling unwell. With backache, fever and rigor, she has a temperature 39.5 degrees centigrade. So it's very high temperature. She is 27 only. Urinalysis show leukocyte and the protein plus plus plus. So, her blood pressure is 80 by 50. Now, important is blood pressure is very low. So, she is going in shock. So, what is the most appropriate initial management? Now, remember, sometimes they ask you initial management. Sometimes they ask you appropriate management. So, that we have to read properly. So, what is initial management? Now, option given. Admit an ICU HD for IV antibiotic supportive care. Arrange ultrasound for renal tract. Commence 7 days course of the oral antibiotic. Give intramuscular steroid to promote the fetal lung maturity. Make a referral for physician to review. So if we will think then 4 are correct into it. That admit, second arrange ultrasound, third is give intramuscular steroid. Make referral for physician to review. Now which is the most initial? So because patient is going in shock. So we have to admit the patient. An ICU, HGU for intravenous antibiotic and supportive care. This is very important. So answer is this. Okay. So that is a sepsis 6 bundle. Always remember. We have to remember. And severe sepsis with acute organ dysfunction have mortality rate 20 to 40%. If patient in shock, then 60% mortality is there. And these are also questions in exam. So we have to remember the percentage also of the UK. 
Now, knowledge area in clinical skill, part 1 MRCG, pattern of symptom, understand the importance of risk factor, pathological basis for physical sign, clinical investigation, how to interpret result of the clinical investigation. Now, it is very important. Nowadays, we are in our country, we are uh, forgetting the clinical skill. But in UK and RCOG, you have to remember everything. Sign and symptom diagnose 60% of the cases without any investigation. That RCOG say. So, by taking the patient history properly, you can diagnose 60 to 70 percent of the cases diagnosis without any investigation. So that we have to pick up from the clue. Now this is the second question. Semi-conscious pregnant woman in admitted to the labor ward and presenting with a dry skin. Hyperventilation, rapid pulse rate, her blood gas result are as follows. What is the most likely diagnosis? Now, blood gas result, pH is 7.14. We know 7.14 is acidosis, 7.25 is normal. PCO2, 30 mm of Hg, HCO3, 14. Sodium is 140, potassium is 4.5, glucose is 12 millimole per liter. So, that is very high. It is a diabetic patient. Acidosis, diabetic patient, PCO2 is normal, HCO3 is very high. So, which acidosis it is? So, it is metabolic acidosis. So, we have to remember this and we have to differentiate by using our clinical skill. So, that we have to remember. We will do later on. Answer is metabolic acidosis, the presence of decreased pH bicarbonate, normal CO2 tension is suggestive of metabolic acidosis. Also, the reduced bicarbonate PCO2 ratio show the widened anion gap. The presence of hyperglycemia, dehydration can lead to significant complication in diabetic patients. So, that is a diabetic ketoacidosis. Now, there is one more question is there. That is a 32-year-old Asian woman presented at 36 week of gestation with abdominal discomfort, 2 plus proteinuria, blood pressure of 140 over 90. She has blood test in accordance with the NICE guideline for management of hypertension in pregnancy. The midwife asks you to review the following blood result. What does this result show? Blood test results are given. Urea 2.8. Creatine 67, sodium 138, potassium 4.2, urate is 0.37, albumin 32, alkaline phosphatase 198, alanine transferase 33, bilirubin 5. Now uh, these are the options. Acute fatty liver of pregnancy, cholecystitis, help syndrome, normal blood result for 36 weeks of pregnancy and preeclampsia. Now we have to remember this. No need to mark up all the values. If you have remembered, that is very good. Okay. Like potassium is 3.5 to 5.5. It is normal. Sodium more than 135 is normal. Urate, it is normal. Albumin, it is normal. So these are given in the exam. They will give you, that is all the normal results of the normal blood test they are giving in the exam. Only few you have to remember. The answer is normal blood test for the 36 week of pregnancy. So remember this, this type of question comes in the exam and you can crack this exam easily if you will prepare well. Now, no need to mark up, they will give you in exam normal values. Now, that is a courses by beta mass COG and we are taking only $250 for complete course till exam. What it consists of recorded lecture, reading material, flashcard for the revision. Flashcard is there for the anatomy, physiology, everything so you can revise easily. Most of the students are telling me that with flashcard and mock series they pass the exam. And there is the subject wise mock is there. We will do anatomy, then we do subject wise mock. And in last, when we finish all the exam, all the subjects, then we do the mock series. It consists of 4,500 questions. All recalls are included into it. Mock series cost separately $200. But here it is included everything in $250. It is the initial one. You will get the recorded session, sorry, uploaded videos in Google Drive. Practice test is there. 
live question practice, weekly question practice, past paper covered, statistic cover, subject wide test exam like, final mock exam for both papers, similar exam pattern, all reading material summaries provided, guidelines also given which is required, not all the guidelines, no need to go outside the course material, mock series include 4500 questions and high quality questions are there. So, if you are interested, we are going to start from 26. So, if you are interested, please contact me, Dr. Yasmin Sayab. My number is there and 9189491498861. And you can be, mail me on the btamarcog at gmail.com. So, it's all about the MRCOG and mantra of the btamarcog. Let's pass it. And we can, we will with Beta Masioji, Dr. Yasmin said. So please join it if you are interested. Thank you.